do I wish I could play piano sometimes? Well, hello, hello, hello. I do not own the rights to that music, but I wanted some piano music for my intro for this episode of Make Art with Mrs. M. So glad you're here. Yes, I'm in a very peaceful mood today because we are going to be drawing this wonderful instrument, the piano. So I wanted to explain that I use the primary colors. Yes, the primary colors. The primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. And I wanted those colors because um, they're so basic, they go so well together, and um, they create like a harmony and they, a balance, the same way a composition of music might. So I've added different kinds of lines along with this piano. So it's come to my attention that someone wants to learn how to draw this cool piano. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to uh, show how I did this. Yes. Okay, the camera's freaking out because there's nothing there yet. Okay. All right. Relax, little camera. We're going to get some lines on the paper and you'll be able to focus better. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle of the page with a rectangle. Long rectangle. About that size. This will be the part of the piano where uh, the music will lean up against, you know, if you're playing. Okay. Next, I'm going to make another rectangle up and around this one. So I make some little lines going out that way, and I'm just going to come up and over and then down. Very good. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start here the at the corner of this beautiful um, rectangle we started with. I'm going to make a line that leans out to the right from the right side and one that leans out to the left from the left side. I'm going to try to make both those lines about the same length and then I'm going to connect them. Good. Then I'm going to make another rectangle that goes right underneath those two. And then divide it in half. Phew. That's a lot of steps, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I bring this line out that mirrors that first leaning line and this line down to match that one. So I'll do that again over here. Lean out, straight down, there, connect. I'm going to make a line that slants a little ways up like that, uh, just for fun. Okay. This uh, is my attempt at a baby grand piano. I was looking at a photograph of a piano of a baby grand when I drew this. And uh, I just simplified the shapes. Next, I'm going to make a rectangle here to the end of that shape. Yes, it comes under right there. Try to make those about the same size. And then the legs come down and I'm going to make them come a little bit closer at the bottom than they are at the top. So the lines come straight down and they go in just a little bit, like so. Next, I'm going to add another small rectangle at the bottom, and then a circle for the wheels because I want this to be able to move. <laughs> and they're, these pianos are heavy. They are very heavy. Uh, there are keys on this part here. This will be where the keys are. And I just kept it simple 
I know that the keys are in a pattern. There are two, then three, one, two, three, then two with the black keys, one, two, and then three, one, two, three. When I get to the middle, I'm trying to make sure those are going straight up and down because the other ones seem to be at a little bit of an angle. And they're angled because I started drawing from that side, which is an angle butt. Two. And then I'm going to start angling them in the opposite direction, going this way just a little bit at a time. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. Eh, not perfect, but you get the gist of it. It looks more piano-ish now. Those are the keys. Those are for the keys, okay? Underneath, right in the middle, I'm going to make a long, thin rectangle because this is going to be holding the petals. So two long poles that come straight down, straight down. And this is back a ways underneath the piano. All right, and then a long, thin rectangle there. And there are three petals. So one, two, three. There. You have to push those to make the keys play and the music to just stretch and waft off into space like that. Hmm. Loving it. Okay, so next. Uh, there's that third wheel that's a little off-center. It's not directly in the back. It's a little off-center because... The weight of a baby grand piano is there's more weight on one side, the side where the top opens, there's more weight on that side. So that's where we're going to put this little guy. He's coming down. There's the square, I mean the rectangle, and the circle. So that's the third leg off back behind there. All right. So now uh, the most fun part comes drawing the open lid that has the stick that props it up. Yes, okay. So I'm going to make a line here and then one beside it that's a little bit taller. And then from there, I'm going to make the long thin rectangle and it, it's gonna go almost straight up and down up over this corner. Yes. It's going to be a long thin rectangle that's part of this lid there. And then I'm going to add something that looks like a long thin trapezoid. So I'll make a line that leans here and a line that leans there and then straight down. Now, I'm going kind of fast because I don't want this video to take forever, but if I'm going way too fast for you, please, please, please push pause <laughs> so you don't get left in the dust. Okay, so right here, I'm going to make something that looks almost like the letter D, but it comes straight down like that. Because from this corner, I'm going to draw the back edge of the baby grand that is got that curve. It looks like a wave. Uh, I think I'm going to just start from here. Oh, no, here. Curve. And then it curves down. And then it comes down and touches the middle of that right there. And then the other edge of it comes down and then touches there. Phew. <sighs> okay. Woo wee. Now I'm going to make, I don't want the prop to touch this part. So I'm going to make it go straight up here. Good. And the other part comes straight down. Bam. Oh, right. Almost done. We're almost done. Inside uh, of the piano, the keys are played here. And then there's a reaction in here. I love it's It's a, such a beautiful piece of equipment. It's a beautiful machine. And I like that the lid gets propped up so you can see actually see what happens when you press one of the keys, how one of the notes gets plucked inside. So it almost looks like a harp, doesn't it? And that's what all the, the chords and, and wires inside look like. So from about right here inside this curve, I'm going to make a diagonal line and copy it doop, like that. 
And then right under this curve, I'm going to make a straight line that comes across and copy it like that. Good. Now I'm going to make diagonal lines all up in here, thin ones. Yes, when the notes get hit, these are struck, they vibrate and make the sound. They vibrate and make the sound. So the vibrations from the keys being hit make the sound come from the piano. So I used the primary colors. I went to town. I loved, loved, loved using them. I, I like the primary colors because they are simple and classic and just beautiful every time. And um, I use different kinds of lines because when you play piano music, sometimes it makes you feel loopy. Sometimes it makes you feel like peaceful and calm, like you're riding on a wave. And sometimes they make you feel like a zigzag line that's going really fast. <laughs> I love piano music. My mother plays piano. I took piano lessons for a short time as a child. Um, I guess I didn't have the patience, but I have always loved music. So there's one piano and it is ready to be decorated and turned into something fantastic. And here's one that already has. I hope you enjoyed that. That was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. Rock those primary colors and have fun making primary colored pianos.